Hi guys! How are you doing? Check out all of the fruit we have here today! We're going to colour it in using so many different colours! That's why we have so many different markers and tempera paint here! It's going to look amazing! Besides, we're going to learn lots of facts about fruit and the colours! Let's begin with the watermelon! Hmm, what colour are watermelons? Well, they're red on the inside! Mm hmm. So here we go! Let's begin by colouring in the watermelon! Red fruit is really great for preventing lots of different illnesses and it contains lots of vitamins so they're very healthy you should eat lots of red fruit like watermelon for example besides it's yummy it contains so much water so it's very juicy too and what color are watermelons on the outside do you know that's right they're green <laughs> So once we're done colouring in the inside of the watermelon, we'll colour in the outside green. Here we go. Great! Another red fruit is the strawberry. Oh, it's one of my favourite fruit. And strawberries are red too, just like watermelons on the inside. Oh, and apples can be red too. Some of them are green or brown, but my favourite are red. Hey guys, can you name any characters in the colour red? Oh, I thought of one. That's Marshall from Paw Patrol. Or maybe Pepper. She always wears a red dress, doesn't she? Um, who else is there? All right. Now we're going to use the colour green. We're going to colour in the stem and the leaf. See? And also the outside of the watermelon. Can't forget about that. Here we go. We must always paint in the same direction. Here we go. We've been using tempera paint so far because this is such a bright, pretty colour, isn't it? I love just how this looks. The colours red and green go great together. They really stand out against each other. Hey guys, can you name any characters in the colour green? I'm sure you can. Oh, I've just thought of Gecko from PJ Masks. He wears a green suit. And there's also Rocky from Paw Patrol. Can you guys think of anyone else? Come on, tell us about them in the comments. I'm sure you can think of so many. Did you guys know that green is my favourite colour? Well, it is. Here we go. Now let's colour in the rest of the leaves and stems. Green fruit contains lots of vitamins and calcium and they're very important for a person's diet. Just like this. Now let's also colour in the stem and the leaves on our strawberry. Oh look at that, doesn't that look great? Oh, and we can't forget about these leaves. Here we have a bunch of grapes, guys. We'll colour it in later, but we still have to pick a colour for it. Because some grapes are purple, others are white, some are yellow. Hmm, but I personally like the purple ones, so I think we might choose the colour purple. Here we go, just like this. Oh, our picture is looking great! We have to paint it very carefully, okay? So as not to paint outside the lines. Alright, now let's finish up with the last of the leaves. This is a pineapple. I love pineapple. It's the perfect summer fruit. 
Here we go. And we're done with the color green. Now we're going to use the color yellow. Bananas, for example, are yellow. And they're really yummy and contain lots of vitamin C and A. And potassium too. So they're very healthy. So if you guys like bananas, just eat as many as you like. I love bananas too. And the inside of bananas is also yellow. The inside of apples is also yellow. So we have to colour it in yellow as well. See, it looks great, doesn't it? Hey guys, can you name any characters in the colour yellow? Mm. Oh, there's the Simpsons and Minions. If you guys can think of anyone else, you can tell us in the comments. I'm sure you know so many of them in the colour yellow. And now let's also colour in our pineapple. Although it's not completely yellow, it also has some shades of orange. So we'll also paint it orange afterwards okay oh and here we have a peach peaches are orange too and they're more yellowish on the inside you know here we go now we color in the outside of our peach this looks great doesn't it once we're done with the peach, we will also apply a little bit of orange on the pineapple, okay? Hey guys, can you name any characters in the color orange? Who can you think of? Oh, I know! There's a really famous fish we all love in the color orange! His name is Nemo! Can you name anyone else in the color orange? Oh, and to finish up, here we have the colour purple. We're going to use it to paint our bunch of grapes. A character in the colour purple could be Sophia the First. And that's it, guys. Now we add some final touches with our marker. Hi, guys. Check it out. This is a picture of Curious George! <laughs> Yippee! Do you like him? Check it out! He is a really fun monkey! And he has a really big hat and a banana! And we're going to colour him in! First we colour in the details of his body in light brown! We'll begin with his feet! See? Curious George is a really fun cartoon! Do you guys watch it? Tell us in the comments! Yay! And now we're going to colour in his right hand. Here we go, we have to be careful not to colour outside the lines. Hey guys, the colour light brown is like regular brown but a little bit lighter. Can you guys name anything in the colour brown? Have a good think! Now we colour in his left hand. And now his left foot. Just like this. Yep. Oh wow, this is looking great guys, wouldn't you agree? Yay! There! And now we colour in his face and his ears. You begin with this one and now the other one. Here we go. Did you guys know that there are loads of tree trunks in the colour brown? Can you guys name any other things in the colour brown? Tell us in the comments! The books and the show about Curious George tell the story of a little monkey who has no tail. He comes from Africa. Yippee! And he is very, very kind and cheerful and helpful. He's always helping everyone out. Now we're going to colour in his banana. And we colour it in in a different colour. The colour of the sun. And now we'll colour in the rest of his body. See? His fur. And we're using the colour dark brown. See? 
Oh, wow. This is so cool. We're done with his arm. And now we color in his chest. Wow. And now his leg. Here we go. And now his tummy. Yay! Here we go. We have to be very careful, okay? Now his leg. This is looking so cool, guys. Yippee! <laughs> See, we finish up his other leg. George has loads of friends, like Edward. Edward is the man in the yellow hat. He's George's best friend. He has many other friends, like Chef Biscetti, who owns a restaurant. He loves eating there and is very fond of the chef. Now we colour in the rest of his arm. Yay! Wow, this is looking so cool. And now we colour in his head. This is so cool, guys. It's looking great. Hey, guys. Did you also know that George also has a friend called Gnocchi? <laughs> You know, like the pasta, because it's the chef's kitten. Wow, we've coloured in all of his fur. And now we're going to colour in his tongue red. Done! Yippee! This is so cool. Do you know what we're going to do next? We're going to colour in the hat and we'll use the colour yellow. It's such a pretty bright colour. Oh my god, wouldn't you agree? Yay! It's very beautiful. Oh, this is looking fantastic. Yellow is such a beautiful colour. It's the colour of lemons and bananas, like George's, <laughs> and the sun. Can you guys name any other things in the colour yellow? Tell us in the comments. Here we go. Done! Oh my god, look at that! Our picture looks fantastic! The hat is yellow and so is the banana and George is dark brown and light brown <laughs> and he has a red mouth and he's eating a yellow banana. I hope you guys liked today's video. See you soon! Hi guys! Check out the picture we have here today. That's right. These are the animals that live at the bottom of the sea. We'll have a great time and learn so many colours. Let's begin with our friend the starfish. We'll colour it in orange. I love this colour. And starfish come in many different colours. Yellow, orange and even black Ooh, we love colouring in pictures and if they're about the bottom of the sea all the better ok we have to be careful when colouring in because we don't want to colour outside the lines here we go perfect we're done with the first one <laughs> I'll just add some details in the colour dark orange. Ta da! It's finished! Do you like my starfish, guys? Ooh, what Disney character does she remind you of? It's from the film Finding Nemo. Okay, guys, let's colour in the next character. This one is an octopus, and I'll colour it purple. See, check it out! Let's also colour in the eyebrows and now the rest of the body. This character reminds me of another character that was in Finding Nemo. But the octopus that was in that film was red. You know, Hank, who was in Finding Dory. <laughs> That's right. Oh my god, we know so many different characters. 
check it out! Our octopus looks Yay! fantastic! And now I'll colour in the puff fish! It's so big, isn't it? <laughs> it looks just like a balloon! It puffs up when it gets scared. But don't worry, it won't explode! <laughs> okay, we'll colour it in green! I love the colour green, it's such a beautiful colour! Okay, and now let's colour in the little details. We use a darker shade of green for the eyes and for the fins. Here we go. Oh, this reminds me, there's also a puffer fish in Finding Nemo. Yeah, because Nemo lives at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> Do you know the name of this character? It's called Bloat because it's a puffer fish. Yay! Check it out, guys. We're going to colour in these little pricks. And ta da! Here it is! Oh my god, our picture's looking great so far. Okay, now let's colour in the crab. Crabs are red. So that's the colour we'll use for our own crab. This is a very easy character to guess. It stars in The Little Mermaid. And it can sing. Beautifully, by the way. Do you know who I'm talking about? If you do, let us know in the comments. The crab's name starts with the letter S. Okay, and now we colour in the legs. See? Three on this side and three on the other side. And then we'll colour in the pincers. There. Here we go. And now the pincers. See? <laughs> okay, and now... The eyes and the pincers will colour in grey. This is going to look amazing, guys. Okay, here's the first one. And here's the other one. We have to be careful not to colour outside the lines, guys. Yay! Oh my god, we're so good at this. Okay. Four down, one to go. Check it out. It's a little fish. I'll colour it in yellow. <laughs> Look. Here we go. We colour in the face first. There. And now the fins. I'll colour it like a really famous fish. Do you know who I'm talking about? It's to do with the crap from before. You know, the one whose name started with an S. Yes, I'm talking about the most famous Disney fish. It's Flounder, Ariel's friend. Well, I'm going to colour in my fish just like Flounder. See, I use the colours yellow, blue, and now green. It'll look amazing. You'll see. Here we go. Almost on. <laughs> there. Finished, guys. We're finished with our five characters. Now let's colour in the bubbles because they are at the bottom of the sea. Ooh, our picture is looking great, guys. Ooh, there are so many of them up there. Let's also draw some waves. This is so much fun, guys, and we've finished our picture. We love colouring in pictures. There's an octopus, a puffer fish, a starfish, a crab and a fish. 
See you soon.